we're going to look at the benefits of, of you know, why are we doing a, a mobile list building exercise as a, as a retailer or as, a, as an organization, whatever your vertical really is. You need to have an understanding of what it is that you're looking to achieve. Um, so with this, with this retailer that we, we have this use case with here, you know, they, they started off from a position where they didn't have a, you know, they weren't promoting their, their marketing list. They weren't promoting it really obviously with customers. It wasn't very big. It was quite small. It wasn't really gaining much traction. So they, they had to step back a bit and say, okay, look, what, what is it that we want to do? What is it we want to achieve? Um, so in this situation, the company in question, they, they wanted to really target a specific user set. So you can see on the second, the growing tree here, as we start to grow the base, you can see on that second point, you know, they placed a pop-up window on the website. Users can complete the online form. They were targeting very specifically, in this case, the web users. They wanted to say, look, what we could we could spread the net wide, or we can really focus in on, on a core demographic of users and really just target those guys and build a process that really works for that specific user type. So they got the uh, they got the pop up on the window on the website. There's a lot of different things that you can look at around this. For example, you know when do we approach someone on the website? You know when's the right time? Is there a specific user criteria that we want to chase after? Someone looking at certain products certain information on the website that we want to try and engage with you know you guys probably understand your users to an extent you know you understand their behaviors there will be a way and there will be a you know really a predominant time that you approach them at this point in time they're more likely to sign up to get further information to sign on to a marketing list the results of this you know, this this you know deep thinking the strategy strategic thinking on how to how to target and how to grow this list the activity of growing the list you know four weeks later we can see the stats here that, that have come out of this case study they had 325,000 new opt-ins during those first four weeks um with a four times you know month over month growth which is which is really massive if you think about it that's uh, you know probably not a massive amount of resource on the back end, um, but a well-implemented strategy has enabled them to just massively grow their, their touch base, their list of users that they can, uh, they can reach out to. So we've got to look at these tips for list building on the right-hand side. We've got to look at these four, four areas here. I think these are all very valid points. So first, you know, have a strong opt-in strategy. You know, you've got to understand your audience. You need to know who are you targeting? Who are the people that you, with this campaign that you want to try and generate their opt into uh, to marketing lists. Number two, you've got to clarify the level of engagement. Now, this is a really, really important one, I think, because I think companies who are open and honest about what the expectation is from uh, from signing up generally have better results because the customer knows what they're getting into. They don't maybe do a sign up and then two days later sign out, you know, opt out once if they don't fully appreciate what, what they were signing up to. I think you need to be really clear with this. You know, make sure that, for example, some of the best um, ones that I've signed up to have actually said you will should expect maybe three to four messages a month, for example. And that, for me as a user, draws me in and says, okay, so I'm not going to get flooded with messages. I'm not going to get, um, you know, it's not going to be bombarding me. However, you know, I'm invested in the company, I want to know, I want to get the offers, um, but they're not going to be attacking me with them, right? Number three, there's never, you know, you can always entice a user to join. There's no reason and never a reason not to uh, consider offering out maybe a discount, you know, you get a sign up discount, get 5% off your next order, you know, get a five pound voucher, $10 voucher, you know, whatever it is, that you think is a good incentive to drive people to uh, to engage with yourselves as a business, especially over the marketing channels. And number four, clear opt-out instructions. I mentioned and I touched on this a little bit earlier, but you've got to make it easy for users to opt out. The main reason I say that is because it actually lets you build credibility with your with your customer base. If you are once again going back to point two, it's about the clarity. If you can be clear, if you can be uh, 
if you can be uh, enable users to really understand that you as a business have their best interests at heart they're actually more likely to stick with you even if they at first don't believe that uh, that they want to keep getting the messages there's a, a good reason that they may well stay with you because they actually trust you as a business because you've been upfront and clear with them. The other piece around making sure that you have clear opt-out instructions is to make sure that you have a, you know, a cleansed list of your engaged customers. There's no point sending messages to people who actually aren't going to action them. They're not going to be engaged. Why would you keep sending those messages to them if they're not going to go anywhere? So that's another good reason, right? You want to make sure that the list that you do end up with is a list of people who want to be targeted, they want to be uh, reached out to, and they are more likely to respond, which means that any uh, any investment you do into marketing to them is more likely to reverse out with a uh, reward on the other side. 